Hello chat, what's out there? Today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my weekend. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend and that you're all having a beautiful Sunday West. Yesterday I got up and I had some jam toast and a cup of tea and I just watched a bit of TV, did a bit of drawing and then my grandparents came over and they are buying a new build that's just around the back of ours in a new build area that they're building up and their house should be ready to move in to by October and then my old sister and her boyfriend are moving down the road from where we first lived in Durham Coast when we were younger that's just around the corner from there and they're moving in on the 1st of June for me and my old oh, flip sake I just can't talk today this is one of those days where I just keep on tripping up on my words let's try this again Rewind. Rewind. So they move in on the 1st of June and that's when me and my grand grandpa and my younger sister get back from our holiday down in Devon. We go this time next week, we'll be getting ready to go and I'm so excited. And I already have stuff planned to pack so I knew not to wear that kind of thing and i just cannot wait one of the players that i played touch rugby with on thursdays actually came up from where i'm going on holiday because he's now working in bristol and so i was talking to him about it and he said about going to go and see and stuff so that was nice of him and yeah i can't wait for a little holiday that will get away and first off my mum and dad are going down in the caravan for two nights and me and my Younger brother and sister and older brother will be here on our own. Hopefully, we don't trust the place and we survive without them. I'm sure we'll be fine. As long as my brothers don't end up winding me up, me and my younger sister will probably just play on Minecraft and just set the way where they play in the garden and play rugby or on the Xbox and just be crazy as per usual. And yeah, I would be a bit anxious about them going away, but I'm a lot better now. I put a post on Facebook that I said about mental health because it was mental health week last week, the week was gone and I used to worry that my mum would have another stroke or she said I want to have a heart attack and a stroke and I used to worry that something bad would happen to her so I used to call and text like so much it was ridiculous but at the time my anxiety was so bad that I didn't even realise it was that bad and I would get so bad, it would get so bad that if I couldn't get a hold of them I would end up just having a full on freak out and I just wouldn't be able to think my parents would swear I would literally feel sick and also it got so bad that during six one was the time of my life I barely went because it was just so I just felt so crap didn't help that they used to always change my timetables and me with dyspraxia I need to have routine so I need to like get into the swing of things otherwise I just can't cope and they just kept on changing my timetables so I was late to a few lessons so I get told off and it wasn't my fault and I tried to explain and so my brain was just like so three or four doses of counselling finally helped going to college definitely helped get in the bus and I had bus training where a lady would come and like help me and teach me how to get the bus and stuff and I have definitely improved a lot I can now go out with my mates I can stay at home alone now which I used to not be able to not in the night time I'm not okay with that still because the night time is scary it's dark I don't like it I'm trying to aim for that and yeah I've joined the morning group as you guys know and the touch rugby currently looking for a job with the cleaning job I'm still waiting to get the application form back because the site that you were supposed to send them to wasn't working so they've been resent because they thought nobody had applied so I'm going to be trying to chase them up because I still haven't got the application to reapply I'm going to have a word with my dad and see if he's heard anything or if not I'm going to try and get hold of them again because I really want this job and yeah so my mum and dad are going away I'm not worried at all they're going to have a great time and then we're going to be going down on the Sunday night and then spending the Monday with them down there and then they're coming back up on Monday night or maybe Tuesday morning all depends and we're going down Sunday we we're going to be going down on Monday but 
because it's bank holiday Monday, we're going to go down to the night before so the traffic isn't too bad. And I saw a little brochure that they had of the house that they're going to move, be moving into and had a little like, diagram of it all. It was quite hard to follow. My older brother's been in the mall, so it's not that hard, but it, it was a bit tricky. And then they showed us the map and it showed like lots of different coloured houses and the, the, the yellow houses are where we're going to be. And yeah, it looks really nice. Can't wait to see their new house. And it'll be just a walking distance. So when I'm on my walk to get an interesting snacks, I'll be able to pop into a cappuccino and a bit of cake, which would be good. And then they went off. My younger brother was at football. He came back and went off out with his mates. My younger sister's in uni, and my old sister had her rugby dinner last night. So she popped in to get her dress and then went off to get her boyfriend. And they went off to our final friend's house. To it's the house that they're moving into in June because she's got a job as a nurse in Newcastle so she's going to be leaving soon. Going to be gutted. That was my thinking of crying because we're quite close. She's basically like another sister but we're going to have a, a send off for her in a few weeks time and it'll be good and she'll pop up a lot. She said she won't forget us and she'll try and tell us as much as you can which is good. And so they were there and they were getting ready for that. And then my family friend came over and they'd been to Turkey and they had a chat with my mum. She's like a second mum to me and she's my mum's best friend. So they had a nice chit chat and I made her a cold drink because it was quite warm and she'd been doing walking because she likes to do a lot of walking. And we had a nice catch up and she brought us back some original Turkish delight from Turkey and it is not what I expected, the, it's, it tastes a bit more like wine gums, so me and my mum tried it last night, but I think my mum's hidden it because it's for her, she's diabetic, but apparently you can have a tiny little bit and it, and it doesn't matter because I didn't know for some reason it, it, you, don't, you don't need to worry about it, but like a little bit, a little bit should be kind of her. And so she's just having little bits and especially if she has a low, she could have a bit and it'll help. And then she went off. My dad got up and was getting stuff ready for the disco because my dad was doing a disco for the after the rugby dinner for the girls. And my old brother was doing work on at the bar. So they got ready and I wrote a bit of my journal and did some drawing and I watched your vision and we lost, as I always said, because it used to be that they'd vote by the song, but now it's all about politics, so countries that are like chummy and stuff tend to vote for each other and stuff, so we had no chance, especially because we're leaving the EU, so everyone hates us even more than they ought to do. So yeah, it's just humiliating, cringy, and our song was one of the best songs, not being biased, I think it was, and quite a lot of people were saying and I felt really bad for Michael Weiss who was on all together now on BBC One who was representing us because he did a really good job and yeah I'm proud of him nonetheless. The band and performance I wanted to win were from Czech Republic and they were called Lake trying to find the name Lake Malawi, I think that's how you call it, they're from Czech Republic. The main singer is gorgeous, well they're all very gorgeous. The song was so good, it had such a great beat, had me up dancing at the end room, and I've been listening to that song non-stop ever since last night. So I've listened to it 10 times already and I just love it. The music video is amazing. At the end, the main singer, he's got lovely brown eyes and he looks at the screen White at the screen with his gorgeous eyes. I'm just like, oh my god, having heart palpitations here. It's just great. And I FaceTimed my best mate and we were watching the final results. The Netherlands won. Congratulations, guys. That song was very good as well. Each song was good in their own different way. Their yeah, food songs, well, I was like, what the hell is this? But you get lots of songs like that in the old version. And yeah, it's over for another year. We might not even be in it next year if we finally get the Brexit deal sorted out and we leave the EU. So who knows what could happen. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I said I wasn't going to watch it because we never went and it's always, it always angers me and frustrates me because 
it's just the money thing could you but i watch it and i had a good time no casualty because of it so i went to go watch casualty last night and we turned off the cell phone and was like where is it and then we realized it wasn't on because of your vision and i still need to watch prince of talent from last night i'm gonna watch that today and i got my food i was like ready for me to sort out and then went to bed and didn't get to sleep till like four o'clock because i guess it was wide awake for some reason so i was just treating and retreating just listening to a bit of music finally got to bed and woke up about one ish had a shower had some toast and a cup of tea and then i stopped my breathing as well my old girl was on this xbox who was very loud and crazy and was singing the british Showman earlier on so it woke me up uh my younger brother was at work younger sister uni and my old sister is at a family place i was probably getting over a hangover it looked like a wild night from the photos i saw on instagram so on instagram i've gained a load of new followers on instagram most of them are italian which is awesome and they are gorgeous i did i can't believe i've got so many followers on instagram now it is ridiculous it's gone up and up and up not so good on the twitter side it's kind of lost a few followers but i'm done stressing about followers and likes and stuff and yeah i then had a cheese toasty and a cup of tea and went up there and room and was watching some stuff off called watching friends and what's the final of big love three can't believe the show's finished after 12 years such a great show and i'm now after go finish it off sorting out my breed of dolls then do a bit of dolls and dolls and breed of dolls three and i shall see you soon with these dolls coming very soon i hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend or have a great week ahead and i shall see you with the dolls coming very soon bye